Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton. Um, I'm racing GP2 this year with ART and currently leading the championship. Hopefully you can get it sealed up quite soon. Without my family and without my dad there, uh, I would not have come as far as I, I have today. Um, with him and also my brother and my stepmother, they've been there since day one. They've devoted their lives um, to making sure that everything's been right, that um, I'm always focused, keep my feet on the ground. And, um, you know, they've kept me on the straight and narrow road. And um, I think everyone needs that, you know. It's difficult to take your own path. You know, sometimes you go the wrong way, but they've always been there. And uh, my father has been very good for, you know, he's been my manager up until now. And uh, hopefully it will continue for the future. But um, he's done a fantastic job, and I'm really happy that I have their support because, as I said, without them I wouldn't be here today. You know, growing up, I found motorsport, and it was—it turned out to be something I was really good at, and I thought, you know, could really keep my, you know, really, hopefully my family would be very happy with me and could really impress them, and um, something they could be proud of me for. And to th still today, as I as I'm winning. It's a great feeling and it's nice to know that um, you know, I can achieve such great results and, uh, and for, my family, for my family to be very happy for me. When I was 10 years old, I, was, um, I raced in a series called McLaren and Mercedes Champions of the Future. It was a series backed by McLaren and Mercedes. Um, I think it was with uh, Zip, uh, Zip Young Guns or Zip, the Zip team, Martin Hines. They organized it together and I won in my first year. Um, and so, but first of all, that was in 96, sorry. In 95, I won the British Championship and I was only 10, I was the youngest ever to win it. I went to the Autosport Awards and I went around asking for everyone's autographs. And uh, I, at 10 years old, I didn't know who was who. Obviously, I knew who Schumacher was. I knew who Edson Senna was. Unfortunately, I missed him by a year, um, which was quite sad because he's been someone I looked up to ever since uh, I was young. And um, but then I met Ron and I went up to him and I was very confident and I said, you know, one day I want to drive your car or something like that. And, um, and he said, okay. And he wrote down his number and, because I asked for them, all their numbers and their addresses and, you know, being 10 years old, you can ask that. Probably today I wouldn't be able to do that. But uh, he wrote down, called me, phoned me in nine years and uh, I'll sort you out a deal. And uh, I met him I don't know, three consecutive years, I think three or four consecutive years. And uh, eventually I got a phone call from him and uh, asking if we would like to be supported by McLaren and Mercedes in the Young Drivers uh, Support Program. And uh, I arrived home from school, my father told me, and uh, sort of at 13 year, years old, it, doesn't, it didn't really kick in at the beginning. And as you get, you don't really appreciate it as much as you do, as I do now. But um, without their support, you know, it, uh, it wouldn't have been possible for me to be here. It's, it's a very expensive sport. Um, and you see a lot of drivers they just fade away because they don't have the financial back, uh, the backing. And uh, McLaren and Mercedes have been there um, since a very early state part of my career and uh, very loyal to us, so very grateful. Ron has played a, a very uh, big role in my, yeah, he has played, had a major influence on my career. Um, he's almost been a, a second father in, in some, some ways. Um, I think he's emotionally involved in help me to get where, where I want to be in the future, um, which is good, obviously. Sometimes you have sponsors that just, okay, give you some money, go and do it. If you don't do the job, okay, we won't pay you again. That's where he knows and has a real strong belief in, in me and, and knows that I, one day I could be a world champion in Formula 1. Um, you know, and he's guided me. I've always taken his advice and he's always guided me in the, in the right way, so it's been very, very good to have uh, almost a second father in that, in that aspect. At the at a young age when I first started watching Formula 1, I think I was about six, and um, Ayrton Senna was at the front. Ayrton Senna was, you know, the way he came from the back at Donington. I don't know what year that was, but um, I think it was around this sort of year I started to, to watch Formula 1. And just to see how amazing his driving was, I watched a lot of his videos, read some of his books, and um, I could re relate to a lot of the things and experiences that he has had. And um, from, from the first time I watched him, you know, he was someone to, to look up to. And I was inspired by him and uh, I have been ever since. But also people like Michael Schumacher, you know, he's achieved so much. And, uh, you know, 
I don't know how easy it would be for, I, I don't know whether it would be possible for me to, to win seven world championships, but I would just be happy with one. But, um, you know, we just have to wait and see. But Schumacher, Ethan Senna, Jackie Stewart, they've all had, uh, you know, big influences on my you know, aspirations. I think I'm quite relaxed at the point where I don't, I don't expect to be in Formula 1 at a, at a certain time. Obviously now it's becoming clearer, my ability, my age, I'm around about the age to get to Formula 1, so you know, it's going to be either next year or the year after. And then obviously when I was 16 I was thinking, okay, only one or two years and I'll be in Formula 1. And, you know, I didn't have no understanding of how long it's going to take and it's been a very long and hard um, roller coaster ride and um, we've come a long way since uh, only 2000, I think it was, you know. 2001, I was racing with Nico Rosberg in casting in the same team. And now he's a Formula One driver and it's, it's quite surreal. Uh, I just hope that you know, I can win the GP2 Championship this year and, uh, and let's step into Formula One next year. You have to be as professional as possible. The pressure has always been there. It's been there since day one. Um, well, since I had McLaren supporting me, but the main pressure came, comes from myself. I demand so much of myself. I want to win every time I go out on the track. I want to be the best. There's no, there's no coming second. If I don't win, I'm not happy. I need to, obviously, you know, if I finish third or wherever you finish, you always have to take the positives from it, turn it to, into, uh, to take the negatives and turn it into a positive. Um, there has been a lot of pressure there from, from, you know, from an early stage, and the higher you get, the, the bigger the pressure is. But that just comes with the, that's just how it is in the business, and uh, you know, when you get to Formula 1, the, the pressure is even higher. So you just have to learn to deal with it and, uh, and get on with your job.